Hey everyone, today we are going to learn how to mouse turn and in particular convert from a keyboard turner to a mouse turner. I covered this topic previously in another video and I apologize. Uh, it did not turn out the way I thought it was going to. It turned in more of a how to keybind video. So we're gonna fix that today. There are two requirements to learning how to mouse turn in an MMORPG. Number one is the mouse turning movement itself, which is the easy part to this. The more difficult part is key binding to support mouse turning. As mentioned previously, this guide will be applicable for most MMORPGs as they use Wasad for movement keys, and you can bind your spells to the keys next to Wasad. Now before we get into this, the absolute number one tip I can give you is to just re-roll another character. Playing a low level character puts you in an environment with a lot less pressure and you have a lot less spells to worry about. The first time I went to convert from a keyboard turner to a mouse turner, I tried to do it on my main and I, I had was so overwhelmed by the amount of spells I had that when I rerolled the same class again, which was a warrior at the time, it really helped out. This is 100% my number one tip. I cannot emphasize enough the helpfulness of rerolling another character, especially if you failed to convert from a keyboard turner to a mouse turner in the past. It is by far the most helpful thing. So first we'll go over the mouse turning itself. Uh, there's two directions that you can, what's called circle strafe, which is the main movement of mouse turning. Uh, you can go clockwise, which in World of Warcraft, you will hold down Q or A, which are the default keys to make this movement. And holding right click on your mouse, you're gonna drag to the right. This will make you go in a clockwise motion around your target. The clockwise circle strafe will be your most commonly used direction for circle strafing because of the amount of keybinds available for a clockwise circle strafe. If you run out of mouse pad space or you need a circle strafe counterclockwise, you just do the opposite of what you're doing now. You're going to hold down E or D, which are the default movement keys for a counterclockwise circle strafe. Hold down right click on your mouse and pull your mouse to the left. Once you learn how to circle strafe and you begin to feel comfortable with it, it's now time to graduate on to the hard part of mouse turning, which is key binding to support mouse turning. In general, this means you're going to be binding keys that you're going to be able to hit with both your ring finger and your index finger mainly. As you can see on the screen here, for me personally, I leave all the default World of Warcraft movement keys alone. Uh, I don't mess with them. I bind R, F, C to my main spells. These are spells that I'm going to be casting every 10 seconds or so. I bind Shift R, Shift F, Shift C to situational spells. So on different classes, that could be like a slow, an AOE, a stun, anything like that you don't, that you don't use so often. I bind T and G for conditional spells. Usually that'll be some sort of proc, maybe a dispel or an execute if you're playing a class with an execute. I like to bind control spacebar for interrupts as that's a very easy key bind to hit when you really need to, but you'll never accidentally hit it. I usually bind tilde, shift tilde and control tilde for buffs as you're not casting those all that often, but it's nice to have, especially as a paladin. I usually bind one, two, and three for spells not used so often. Maybe you use it to initiate combat, like as a warrior, you could use one as charge, but they're not super convenient to be hitting as you're circle strafing. I bind F1 through F12 for abilities I do not need to use in combat. So whether that be resurrect, fish, maybe a buff that you use very rarely, um, divine intervention, something like that that is completely out of your normal rotation. Ultimately, these keybinds are up to you. Use this video as a platform to develop your own binds that'll make it easy for you to circle strafe and use your abilities at the same time. Once you've rerolled your new character, you're comfortable with circle strafing, and you've keybound to support circle strafing, now it's only a matter of time before you get completely comfortable and you fully have converted over from a keyboard turner. I hope this guide helped you, and if it did, please leave a comment below. I really hope it did better than my last video. I'll see you guys around.